the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 19 let's read 1 to 3 go for the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem thou shall weep no more he will be gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. Lord, bless your word. Speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. Let the sick be healed. The bound be loosed. The praise be delivered. Let there be salvation. Let there be revival. Let there be healing in the atmosphere. Lord, thank you for everyone watching, everyone following this service. Lord, touch their life. Let there be transformation. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's lift up our right hand in one voice. Let's say amen loud and clear. Amen. Sit down. This morning, I, pre I am sharing a simple topic I titled Weep No More. Weep No More. Now, put that verse in another, in a lower translation. Isaiah chapter 13 verse number 19. Oh, people dwelling in Zion at the Jerusalem, your weeping will be ended. He will certainly have mercy on you. At the sound of your cry, when it comes to his ear, he will give you, I love the last statement, he will give you an answer. And if you put amen, the Lord will give you an answer. I've never seen a man crying. He, you know, going through pain when things are well. Any man or woman you see sharing tear, crying, lamenting, something happened. There's always reason behind every tear. But he said, the people that dwell in Jerusalem at Zion. Zion talk about church. He said, the Lord promised them deliverance. He said, when they cry, I will hear. I will no longer throw, he close my ears. He promised an answer in a hurry. And today, marking the sixth day of this meeting, the Lord said, I should tell you your season of tears is over. Your family will not cry again. Even if that tears is like a spirit, the power of God is stronger than that power. I, I visited a place in Enugu State some years back. I was invited. The family came. They said, visit our home. We wanted, we wanted to visit our family. So after much, I prayed. The Lord said I should visit. That was the early stage of this ministry. I think I had the second year or the third year. I picked one of my friends who went with me. When I got there, I saw tears. You know, when you enter a place where people are blessed, you will see their result. They may not need to tell you that God has blessed us, but the Bible says by their fruit, you will see the results they have. You see what they have. You know that God is helped. Even though they don't have it all, you know at least God has helped them. But when I enter that house or that family, let me use the word family, because the people, according to what they told me, they bear the same name. But they, they, that name spread very large family, about nine compounds that merged together for that prayer. Father, I spent two days there. I have to, the very first day, I, I have to use half of the day seeing them one after the other. Because I now notice there's need for counseling. I could remember a woman, an old woman, when it got to her tongue, she wanted to 
Oh, she started with Kedai. And that woman should not be less than 60. If she's young, let it be 60. But I know she's above 60. She started crying. I said, Mama, why are you crying? Talk to me first. He wants to talk. She started crying again. Me, I didn't understand. How will I know when you have not said anything? There are some people, their problems have turned into tears. Everything around them has turned to sorrow. When, there's any, when they are talking, it's cry. When they are eating, if so, when you are saying, if you have never gone through, you will never believe it. I'm telling you. So after much, I have to talk to her. I have to encourage her. I say, talk to me first. He said, he asked me questions. He said, can God still answer me? I was like, why will you ask such questions? Until when she opened her mouth, to explain the level of her tears and weeping. She told me I'm a mother of eight. He said, I am a part of this family. He now pointed somewhere there. I saw an old house that have collapsed. He said, this is my late husband's house. I said, is that where you are living? He said, no. He said, I have left this family some years ago. He said, I have to return my course while I'm still alive. I said, Mama, why did you say so? He said, eight children. He said, the first one happened to be a woman who married and didn't give birth and died. The second one happened to be a boy who went for an apprentice, according to her, in Lagos. He said, they find her. By then, it's over 10 years. They didn't know her, his way about. The third one, being a son, that one ran mad. The fourth one died. The fifth one died. The sixth one died. The seventh one also died. The only one left was the last one. He told me that that, that boy I'm seeing, then that boy is less, it should be less than, or maybe like 20. The mama said, I had this boy when they say somebody had unwanted pregnancy. And she, she was pregnant of that boy between 20 and 22. Or but less than 25. He said she was pregnant of the boy before the husband died. That's, he was carrying that child and they didn't give birth and the late husband passed on. He said, oh, he now said, pastor, look at me. Look at my age. What do I have to offer this boy? I wish my senior children, they are still alive. They would have taken care of him. He said, look, every, he said, that's the only one now I have. He said, I look at myself. He said, I have to return my course back to my father's house. I said, is that why you left? He said, yes. He told me, he said, when I got home to where they get back to me, he said, he said, oh, my senior brother had died. He said, but I called the, the two, he said, he have three brothers, but they are all dead, but they have children. He said, he called the children. He said, I knelt down before them. They said, no, I should not say no. Let me tell you. He said, don't allow vulture to eat my corpse. Because I know this boy can't bury me. I am close to where I'm going to. He said, please don't allow vulture to eat my cups. He said, life did not treat me well. He said, I have returned my cups home while I'm still alive. That's all I could do now. When she narrated her story, I never know when tears roll out of my eyes. That's and I don't know why he said, Can God still answer me? Can these ones who die come back again? But I know God will serve, is still a God of second chance. I don't know the level of your tears and your pain. How can a woman give birth to eight and lose seven? He man not the a digi de one name o jide si e ike he chanya gi e chukwa di a si a se oga de re ke ma epe si na o chuku na so oki mi bun subu gi he man not the a digi de one more, you know what I saw in that family? 
I saw one particular problem very common. Every one of them, none of them, their first child is alive. Those that their own is alive is either is running mad or it disappeared. They go for, I'm telling you, that night come down. What is wrong? Do you know when I now, there was one I called. The, one of them that came to invite me because they have to now clear where they call their new site, where young boys will begin to build. So we are doing program. I saw a lot of uncompleted buildings that they have abandoned for long. It, it, they have to clear those places because we want to do program. It happened to be December time. So you can, at least you can see all the whole completed structures. And as I, at the time I prayed, I said, Lord, give these people money to complete their project. And there was one big one like upstairs, close to Deke. I said, who built this one? When I was asking, who owns this house? Everybody kept quiet. And I asked that one. I said, why did you kept quiet? I said, here is your family land. He said, pastor, leave that one. Oh, after, after you finish prayer, I will talk on that. So after one, we finish that section. He said, that is why we now called you come and pray. Something is wrong with us. He said, this one now, Debini. He said he has boutique in the forest. He was the one planning this prayer. He was a believer. He now said, how can we invite a pastor when we don't have a place? And God helped him. He was doing well. He now decided to rush that house. He was hoping to take that house, even though he couldn't complete it, so that they can hold that program that particular year. He said he left home. Around June, after he paid the workers, and when I say July ended, he said he they returned his cup September that year. And he said that was where they lied in the state. He said, we not so he said, all of them who left foundation, nobody there alive. Stretch your hand. I pray for the family here. If such thing is existing in your family, it is ending today. Amen. Spirit of tears, spirit of remain where you are. In the name of Jesus, it is over. It is over. Let me hear your amen three times. Sit down. I felt bad. I remember one of the evening I had to move to some of the check see things. Do you know I saw this kind of house I normally see on television? Grand house. They use grass. But what pained me most was I entered one, I saw one old woman, old man, he was greeting me. Now you be the pastor because the man couldn't come out. He's like he's sick. So I said, let me enter and pray for him. And I saw one lady followed me in. And that one said, he's my father. I said, okay, where is your mom? He said, the mom have died. So after when I finished praying, the girl daddy, I'm telling you, should be up to 30 or above 30 overdue for marriage. I wanted to leave. She knelt down with tears inside that round house. You know what I saw there? They paid to be like they mowed the red sand up, put mat on top, and I saw another red one. They mowed like bed. That they used red sand to mow the bed. You know, red sand. You know those kind they normally used to build <laughs> and put mat on it. That is somebody's bed. And I saw two inside that round uh, hut there. As I was about to come out of that hut, the lady now who was there when I prayed for the man who said he's his father knelt down. He said, Pastor, pray for me. I'm not enjoying my life. He said, I'm not like my maid. She now pointed the other one and said, This is where I lie. I sleep. Me and my father will share the same hut. Huh. I couldn't believe it. He said, This is where I sleep. Can you believe that? She go catch me. Morning by morning, your mercies I see. All that I needed, your hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord, Lord, unto me. Great is the faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, your mercies I see. All that I needed, thy hands has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, unto me. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle?
tu with the Lord. Who can battle with the Lord? I said no body. I hear God say should declare. Any family here, they lock your brother, lock your family. Can I hear you shout praise? They said that Zubi Nana so you go remain. No, I hear God telling me it's ending today. Sit down. What about altar? What about power? That said, as it is from beginning, I saw it go be now. No power must change hand. I look at the big deer telling me, say, see where I, I sleep. I, I share the same heart with my father. Give a papa where be called mania. Give a mama. Some of these things at times is not family problem. At times it could be an enemy. In the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 28. Or let me take it from verse 24. Where the Bible said why men slept his enemy went and so tight. Remind you can never be asleep. Hear me. That sleep and waking up there is not doing what night. He's talking about prayer. Many of us we are quiet and the enemy is taking over the land. But I'm here to announce grace will carry you. Stretch your right hand. Whatever that look like tears, weeping, sorrow in your life. As you turn that amen is ending now. See that you see some mothers who have children reaching the age where children will take care of them, yet nothing is happening. I saw one in Bini here. When I newly come, I saw that woman, like this is she done the hawk. Do you know what in a particular time I saw that mama again? I paused. But when, when I'm telling her it should be around four years ago, this mama still the hawk. And when you see, you know that age is telling on her. But she had no option. So I now saw somebody who knew the family. I said, Why this mama still the hawk? He saw the children. They have children. So don't do it for marriage, no marriage. Some dumb uh, uh, men, bo men, not boys now. You know, get we have man, boy, go rich, go become, he's small boy, go, be, go become boy, become youth. But this one, they are man tellers. Not bad. Hear me. I saw that mama still hockey no rage. When I, when I, when that person told me a story that even can I imagine that after hawking this whole he could still go cook for grown up boys and men and women. Nobody is making headway. I don't know. I'm here to decree blessing into families. And if you say amen, it will enter your family. Whether it's altar that is holding them, whether it's human being that is holding them, my Bible says every plant which my heavenly father has not planted must surely be uprooted. Let me hear your amen. amen. Sit down. I ask myself, I say, which time this mama will go to retirement? Sit down. Which time? There is time, Bible says there is time for everything. Oh God, no matter how God bless you for business, there is time for retirement. Be like when you see a woman of 95 years go to open shop, they look for customer. <laughs> customer for what? Even I'm telling you, there's an age a man will get to, even though you give her money to count, you know, if you count 50,000, all, all about it go to, um, talk to me. Shows at this time now retirement. Children need to take care of you. And I pray for every parents here. When you get to that point, your children will be available. Amen. That your amen is not healthy. Amen. And I pray for every youth here. Now you know how your family look like. Now you know how you are taking care of your home. Some youth have it in mind to take care of their parents, but they don't have because the thing lock them. This service is for you. Amen. Today I hear God say you will not cry again. Your limitations are over. Amen. Let me hear amen three times. Amen. You are the king of, of heaven and the earth. Kabiyo, oh 
they had to give him documents so that he can come and work for them. So they now paid him as a Igbo man, not like a Nigerian man. So that one got to America and bought a house. So all of them, all of them are too happy and comfortable. The first son, he even get past a mama, a papa. His mama, did, and I asked the mother, say, your first son get, he said, I know he have properties everywhere. He said, but the, mother, the father own, the father, father own. He, he said, and that's why, let me tell you, okay, that's why he said polygamous of no good. If it's polygamous of, cut last or don't come out. Yeah, he said, cut last, I'll be <laughs> gone. So, why the mama, in conclusion, the mama said, pray, let them come and take possession of their father's property. He now told me that the father bought so many shares there. He said, the children know they ask. He said, look at my age, because the mama is about 70. He said, if anything happened to me tomorrow, that's just everything will finish like this. Mama, they cry. He they cry. He said, my labor with my husband just waits like this. Pastor, look at it. He said, the one in America, if he call, he said, mama, come over to America for Christmas. Now he called and said, your mate, they come home. <laughs> He said, the time he got angry, he said, not, you know, they travel again. Who wants to see her? She come home. I said, but what happened? He said, they will come. Just one day. They will see her, buy everything. He said, what do I need? She had to now go to adopt children from other people home. They, he said, look at my house. He said, I have to go and be picking children. Release your own children. They say, no. Come and see your papa property. They say, no. Mama said, pastor, pray, pray. I remember when I, I my mind told me if I laugh, the mama would not be happy. How can you invite the pastor? He can't they love you. So I have to pretend to pray. I, when I they do the prayer, my mother, they cry. They call God to touch. Oh. When I let that prayer, I laugh. Eh? Because from what I saw, the woman also, God blessed her. He said that they sent me money. He said, I told him, is it money that is my problem? Come and take one, give, take possession of your father's property. That's why he, he suffered. They think they pay now because the way he and the husband plan and nobody has to take work again. And he said, He wrote this one. I say The first son will take this one. All of the whole house. I said, Mama, why you not put it? He said, I thought they would come and take Why am I putting it? He said, Who will take the money? I don't need the money. They should come and take over. Switch, Mama. May God bless your house. Hear yeah, me, rich children. What am I trying to bring out there? No matter how God bless you, they want to stand their ground. That's rich children. Rich children who get sense can never depend on their father's wealth. Am I talking here? They believe if their papa made it, they cannot so make it. Parents, under the sound of my voice, may the Lord make you proud. Amen. Dad, your amen is not healthy. Amen. And I decree family limitation. Whatever power that said your family will not experience glory. Somebody holler fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. If there is any altar that kills the glory of your family, we deal with that altar today. Amen. Can I hear your amen louder? Amen. Switch your two hands. Every sign and symptoms of sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God end it up today in the name of Jesus. Sit down. Lord, lead me up and let me stand by faith on earth. Who save will I have a plan that I have found? Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Look at Luke chapter 7, verse 12 to 16. I saw another thing there. A very touching story at that. He said, when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out the only son of his mother. And she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And the Lord saw her and had compassion on her and said unto her, what did he say? 
Let me hear what did Jesus say to her? Stretch your hand from today. Whatever that looks like sorrow in your life, your business, and your career, it is over today. May God end your sorrow. May God end pain in your life. In the name of Jesus. Mighty warrior. Reds in battle. Jehovah is your name. They might stretch your two hands. Look at my prayer. When people come around you, may they see blessing of God. No, that your amen did not sound strong. I pass the decree. May God change your story completely. May God change your life completely. Receive it. Turn around in the name of Jesus. Sit down. I see the people one story. Those days I normally I have time to move. I was invited to a family for prayer. So I and so many of our pray, my prayer warriors followed me. So and I told them we are going for family liberation. So when we got there, the people had not told me if they should take us to hotel or we should man, we were managing their house. And I said. We are praying in the night for you to start coming to run around. Let's stay there. I didn't even know. So when I got home, they showed me where we will stay. One of my prayer team came to where I was staying. He said, Papa Noves. He said, our family liberation will come. I said, yes. He said, what do you want to liberate them? <laughs> I said, is that why you let you? He said, no. Say the thing, they are this, he just, he don't know. He said, what kind of prayer are we coming to pray here? I said, what do you mean? He said, see, village house, be like a hotel. He said that we need this kind of prayer. <laughs> now look this way, I say. He said, what tell me, Papa? Say they go, if we pray for them, finish. They go still pray. He said, because their own anointing is also good. <laughs> I tell you. You know why he says so? If you see the house, because I remember when the man, his own two brothers, he was telling me, even cotton in that house was imported, cotton. Village house, three story, glass house. They use marble to paint them inside and outside. If you see house, we thought it was hotel. No? Now when we read there, we say, and I said, this is our little family house. Now he post that by... Even cup, where they take give you water there. You go, even they look cup. You see display of wealth. So, now that one, as we say, Papa, because normally when we get there, we begin pray for the family. He said, Make I give them prayer point. So, that's why he came, because they, they them themselves, they we are there, they don't know what to pray. Because how can you be praying for somebody who believes is far better than you? If you are praying, let you know the prayer point. And do you know why? The prayer was not money. They has the money, but no children. Three, two men and one woman. All of them married. Womb locked. And people, we are mocking them that they exchange children for wealth. So that was the issue. So and I told them, I, and we saw children there. We saw play, a lot of children there. So the, 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 the senior one told me that there are all these children now is from extended family. That what they normally do every December, when the children have closed school, they will pick children from families, take them to Dubai, do shopping for them, then bring them home so that they can they can stay. Because people are mocking them and say children cannot stay around them. So they try to prove people wrong. But yet, borrow children are borrow children. Before Christmas, they finish, they don't come out finish. So that thing touched me. So when I now told my prayer. <laughs> Who came and said, You see the prayer point? They said, eh. I said, Yes. I mean, that one, no big problem. He said, This is the, so no one, I said, No one, not even one. This is a problem for life. At times, you will get some things, you see another battle from another direction. People, we are mocking the mother. The mother 
called me and said, Pastor, please, if you know how you want to tell your God, he said he went to somewhere where a woman, the daughter gave birth, and he followed them dance. He said he heard the other one for back, say, hey, they dance, he owns children. Use money. You know some people are trying to talk, the one where they talk for back for you to hear. The mama said he turn. See, he said, they, they do it like this. As if they do one do like this, now she turn. He said that was how she ended that greeting. The mama said, please. If not true, tell me. If my children put her for evil, make her die for them, make them stay. The children were crying because the two sons were there while he was talking to me. He said, man of God, pray. If we put our hand in anything to make money, he expose us. Or let God judge us. Their mama one day said, don't buy a house again, don't buy a car. If they come Christmas, because when they come, they come with the exotic cars. People will mock them. If you bump bikini, it's fine. They say too fine. He ugly, they say na monkey. Switch your hand. I pray for you. May you never see what to swallow your happiness. Amen. Now, do you know what I saw? Such woman supposed to be happy. Supposed to be happy. But the enemies used another thing. Mothers, I pray for you. May your happiness be complete. Amen. Sit down. Now, do you know, after that prayer, I was glad what God did. The second song, the white conceived, that one, 88. And before you know, their sister conceived. That one happened to be beneath here. That one gave birth to twins. The second one gave birth to baby girl. Before you know it, before the December of the other year, the first son, white conceived. Mama, come they go on Mugo. Come they gather party for Mugo. I was told that when the first son, the wife conceived, because they told me that the, the, the woman don't conceive, I should pray. I prayed. Because about 12 years. The man carried the woman go to America. So while, when he was talking, he said, yes, let me go. He said, let me put my wife where their eye will not reach. I said, look at you. He didn't know that God has breaking the yoke. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. Even when the woman born, he left the woman there. Dedication. He gathered people here, give them those who got their visa. The, he said the, woman, the baby stayed there until almost two years. Made the man dead sure to avoid any story. Mama said, Now my joy is humbly. Those who said this, switch your hand about my knee. Whatever you remember in your life that makes you cry, as you turn that empty, that this year you will celebrate it. Narekele, Narotito, for the great and mighty things that you have done. Narekele, Narotito, Chineke, Idima, Nesia. Now, look at that scripture again, that Luke chapter 7. And he touched the bearer, and they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Switch your hand. Whatever good thing that the enemy have killed in your life, I command it to be back to life. I speak to your health, restoration. I speak it to your finance, restoration. You will not share tears again. Let me hear your amen like thunder. Sit down. I remember a woman whose son, who happened to be the only one who has hand in the family, died. One of the women in the family who didn't love her. And let me tell you, you know, that when there are some stories you hear, you say, Is it real? Of the same family that they buried this one son who died premature. He did never even marry, but up to the age of marriage. That one go die again. Come out for the front of his ha her house and pose. And somebody else said, This one you dress like this. Which party will they go today? He said, You see me, I know they cry. God, no, create me to cry. They, they bear the same family, your fellow woman, even though not a stranger way you don't know. There are some stories you hear that will touch you. She go dress in his tie, gele, pose for her, the front of her house. 
He said those who commit crime that then go carry their load. That's what he told them. Say now who do something? I know what he do. So automatically now the young man I put hand into what killed him. So the woman prayer, there was a declaration of prayer and the Lord gave a promise and told her, said that thing you lost, you will recover it. And I pray for somebody. May God give you back your lost glory. I remember another person came by the side of her house, putting fence. Instead of here, the person shifted her. The widow cried and said, why are you shifting the boundary? That one said, all this is your children, where the men now? Which one can buy a bag of cement? Ibu papa mwere bikole no manya Ibu mama mo bikacho pola me Ibu papa mwere Ibu mama mwere Ibu papa mo bikacho pola me But God promised that woman and said You will smile not just again he said, I will give you better than what you lost. And you know, less than 10 years, God raised one of the sons again. Better than the first one. Who built his house in less than four months? House that nobody have in that community. People, they ask, how did it happen? The same people who mocked her, come they ask, how did it, how did it happen? When they, that's how it is. When they, God can still turn again the captivity. And at last, it's people who we are mocking her then. We are like, God, I wish I'd be my fellow woman. She herself, who was always begging to eat, was the one giving out to others. Stretch your hand. May God remember you. Amen. God, remember your family. Amen. Now, hear my conclusion. May you never lose your glory. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. That blessing which God has given to you, may you never stand a day and ask yourself, am I still with this?
the future is still pregnant. Nobody knows what the future will deliver. That best car today, tomorrow will become a taxi. I'm telling you, with time. I saw something online where a man showed where a man is using Prado Jeep to sell plantain. He puts them on top of the roof. And he shared it. He says, look at some people's dream car. Some people, they use and take the hawk market for his high market. If you see the way, he would not even respect the car. He puts some plantain, green plantains on top of the roof. And on top of the, open the boots down. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how God rests you, don't oppress people. Don't mock people. That's another thing. Some people are good if because we wear fine clothes, because we wear, you see, you believe that everything is okay. We see some people call and suffer here. Nobody knows. The difference between privilege and less is the less inside privilege. It can happen to anybody. Because if you mock people over their pain, you may taste their trouble. But if you can show compassion, tomorrow when power shifts hand, they may still be your helper. Even though you can't help me, don't mock me. There's a vehicle I see whenever I'm traveling home. It's written on the body. The young shall grow. That baby you see today can become a man tomorrow. That, ha that house boy today can become a governor tomorrow. Just with time. The difference between where I am and where I'm going to is time. Don't mock me. If you can't help me, allow me to face God. I am waiting for my time. Shall we rise? Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. I say to Baraya, Mama. Thank you. 